Hey, my name is Alex from alexfergus.com and for the next few weeks I'm going to try something. I'm going to show you uh, some insights into my life, into my training, into my diet, um, into what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know how I am into health and performance and fitness, but also um, I guess a little bit of a self-sufficiency and having control over how I live, where I live, what I eat, uh, what I don't eat, and what I do, I guess. And hopefully it will inspire some people as to, you know, healthier eating, healthier living, um, cheaper eating, because I try and keep my food budget down pretty low. Um, and yeah, and just maybe show people what goes on behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, how I live my life. So I'm gonna make my breakfast. Let's do it. I like making smoothies because I'm lazy and it's easy and I don't need to think too much. So what do I have? I've got raw milk, uh, I have the Great Lakes collagen, a banana, I try to go as ripe as possible. I've got some rock salt lamp, uh, rock salt lamp, rock salt here. Yeah. Uh, and then I use a couple of free range eggs. And then sometimes I put in a little bit of chocolate. And that's breakfast. Hey, so I want to show you my favorite room. We're currently renting here in New Plymouth. The plan in, in New Zealand, uh, the plan is to build and buy and do all that fun growing up stuff. But in the meantime, we're renting this little townhouse, which is actually quite, quite cool. Finally have some space in the first time in like 10 years. It was a deck and it's been converted into a little sunroom now. So let me, let me show you. It's like a little room, really. And my bookshelf. But unfortunately, I only have a few of my books here. I like to read a lot. Um, I try to read a book a week, though it can get tough. I am reading Thrive by Ariana Huffington, you know, explaining how we really need to go back to basics and stop relying on technology. And I think the key takeaway is to use technology because it is powerful and allows me to live the life and share all this stuff um, with you. But I think it's important to balance it. So for me personally, I have like rules where I won't check my phone or emails until I've done like my morning routine. Yeah, it's very important to keep that balance in your life. And, and that's what this book is all about. The third metric to redefining success and creating a life of well-being, wisdom, and wonder. That's the uh, subheading. So you may already be aware of all this sort of stuff and believe in all this stuff, but sometimes I like that idea of being re-exposed to it and almost like being refreshed, you know, about these sort of concepts because they are important, especially in today's ever-changing world with technology. As you can see, the sun's out first time in five days, maybe more. Anyway, I thought it's a good time to uh, obviously get some UVB rays, hence why the shirt's off, but uh, show you my garden. So come in. These are my seedlings. All these seeds here are organic seeds. We got two zucchini plants coming through there. Uh, we've got some tomato plants, which I'll be uh, hardening off over the next few days. And these are all brassicas. Uh, so we got cauliflower, cauliflower, broccoli, some more tomatoes. I think these are capsicums. In here, uh, squash, which haven't come up. Beetroot in here, which also hasn't come up. Anyway, we've sort of planned out uh, a bit of a garden and we've been putting compost in and whatnot over the last few weeks. Over here, we have some squash growing. Well, it hasn't come through yet, but there's some squash on that left hand side. Zucchini. Um, this is where we'll put the peppers. And then over here, we have the three raised garden beds. Uh, so we've got some strawberries growing over here. Probably another week and I might be able to eat some of them. And then Rebecca planted some carrots down in there. And then yeah, we have some kale and some silver beet that's struggling along. This is where I planted all our tomato, uh, potatoes. And you can see they're just starting to come through. So that's my garden. I'm going to show you what I'm doing each week and hopefully we'll get some food in a couple months time. But uh, today I'm going to actually plant out a few more potatoes. All right, so this is what we got. We got some of these potato planters that I got from the local gardening store here in New Zealand, which is this thing that I'm gonna figure out. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is plant the sea potatoes. Make a little bit of a ring here in the soil and then just plant them in a ring. Hey, so I'm gonna train uh, Friday afternoon, gonna do my weekly session. Yeah, I've only been doing one session a week for quite a while now. Uh, some people call me lazy, but I just find it, it's all I need and I'm not too focused on performance. Anyway, so today is going to be a pretty typical session for me. It's a very simple program, four exercises, maybe five exercises. It's going to be a deadlift with a chin up and then I'll bring in some floor presses because I don't have a bench yet and then some front squats, something like that. So it'll wing it. So that's just uh, one of my sessions and um, yeah, it was good. Deadless, got fives, 180 for five, hit 200 for triples, 220 for a triple, which is good. Um, that's actually all the weight I have, so I couldn't actually do any more than that. Chins, this is kilos, by the way, all kilos. So 10 kilos for five, 20 kilo weighted chins for five. 30, tried for 5, only got 4, so I put fail there. Uh, and then I hit 40 kilos, which is actually pretty good for me. I, I don't usually get up to those sort of numbers, so maybe it was you guys watching. <laughs> Floor press, 80 for 5, 100 for 5, 110, which, which actually got really hard really fast. Yeah. And then the front squats at the end, uh, 105, 125. I, I noticed a bit of a twing, twinge on my back there on the last rep. But it felt alright, so I did 140, the first first one was good, the second one I felt it again, then the third rep I felt it get a little bit worse, so hangs, uh, 90 second hang. Um, used to be up, up around 2 minutes, but I haven't done it for a while, so anyway, that is me for another week. I am going to go have a cold shower and then have dinner. I think we're having gluten free pizza and I put some ginger beer that I've been brewing, put some of that in the fridge and um, It'll be nice and cold for me after the shower, so talk soon.